In this video, I'll show you how you can export notes from Evernote and import them into Microsoft OneNote. Why I'm moving out of Evernote. So first of all, let me explain why I'm doing this. I've been a paid subscriber to Evernote since 2009 and have accumulated close to 9,000 notes. Over the past few years, I have gradually switched over to OneNote for note taking and have been using Evernote primarily as a personal document and information archive. I would scan important documents, save web clips, a uh, couple of photos of interesting stuff, things like that. So this has been all well and good, but Evernote is increasing their subscription fee for the third year in a row. Two years ago, my subscription fee was $41.99 in US dollars. Last year, it increased to $69.99. And next month, if I renew, it'll be $129.99. That's three times the increase. Now, for some people, $130 a year may seem like a reasonable rate, especially to avoid the hassle of moving notes to another platform. But for how I use the app today, it's not worth it for me. And who knows if bending spoons will increase the rate again next year. And given that I spend well over $1,000 a month on various subscription fees, I really need to be choiceful on which to keep and which to eliminate. In my YouTube community tab, I recently conducted a poll to ask which platform I should export the notes to. And unsurprisingly, the majority of you chose OneNote. So in this video, I'll show you how to do just that. Export notes from Evernote. Regardless of which platform you ultimately plan to use, the first step will be to export the notes out of Evernote. I have multiple notebooks in my Evernote account, but I can only export one at a time. This is a bit of a hassle as I have 16 notebooks. However, since I plan to create a separate OneNote notebook for each Evernote notebook, this will actually make it easier to import them into OneNote later. You'll see what I mean in a moment. Exporting smaller notebooks with a few notes is straightforward. Just right click on the notebook, select export notebook, choose the ENEX format, select the appropriate attributes you want to include, then hit export. You can rename the file if you choose, then hit save. This is a very small notebook with just nine notes, so that just took a few seconds. I'm gonna select and open the containing folder, and there it is. You can repeat this for all of your Evernote notebooks and keep track of where they are saved. Now, I ran into an issue with my larger notebook. My main notebook has close to 5,000 notes. When I try to export this notebook, uh, first it calculates the size, then offers the option to split the file by the size that we specify. In my first attempt, I just left this box unchecked and let it run, but received a fail to export notes error. Then I try to rerun the export, splitting the file size by 2000 megabits, but ultimately got the same error. I tried various different combinations of splitting the file by different sizes, deselecting some of the attributes, but I could never get the notebook to export successfully. So what I tried next was instead of exporting out the entire notebook, I would just export the notes from the last two years. So I put in a search criteria to filter the notes. Then I tried to select all notes to export. But again, here I ran into an error indicating that I can only select 100 notes at a time. Evernote wasn't going to make this easy. Ultimately, I haven't been able to sort this out yet. Not sure if the database is corrupt and I need to rebuild, but I will try it when I have more time. If anyone else has experienced this issue with exporting your notebooks, and have some suggestions to get around it, please drop a note in the comments below. Again, this is only happening with my larger notebooks. All of the other notebooks were able to export fine, so I'm glad for that. Download Evernote to OneNote. Once you have all your notebooks exported as ENEX files, we can now import them into OneNote. There used to be an official tool that OneNote offered, but that's been retired as of September 2022 and no longer available. So the tool we'll be using today is called Evernote to OneNote. You can download this from GitHub by searching for Evernote to OneNote. I'll put the link in the description below. Click on the zip file from the latest release. Go to the download folder and run the exe file. 
Now we're ready to import the ENEX files. Let's look at some of the options available. The first option is to import only the nodes that are newer than the date that we specify. Of course, you don't have to use this option, but it's useful if you have a large notebook with notes dating back many, many years, and you only want to import more recent and relevant content. You can see the date is set far back enough to capture all of your notes. If you want to specify a date, I find it helpful to click on today and navigate back from there. Let's grab only the notes from 2021 and on. The second option is to use the modified date for notes instead of the creation date. By default, it uses a modified date. If you do want to change this to the creation date, then you can uncheck this box. After making the choices, we can navigate to the ENEX file that we've downloaded and click on open. Depending on the size of the notebook, this could take a while. But once done, the notebook will appear at the bottom of your notebook list here. The notes are organized by tags, so each tag becomes a section and each note is a page. Notes without tags will be dropped into the not specified section. If you were to compare one of the notes, let me go to my contact section and I have one note here and pull up the original Evernote next to it. The note structure seems to be good in this case. And you can see the tag, the source link, and the modified date all have been brought over correctly. Where the notebooks are saved. Each ENEX file we import to OneNote will be brought in as a separate notebook and saved to the documents OneNote notebooks folder of our local PC. You can of course change the notebook location by going to the notebook properties and clicking on change location. If you want to save this notebook on OneDrive so that you can have access across your other devices and maybe even share with others, you can go to File, Info, and click Share on the web or network and choose the appropriate location. If you have multiple OneNote accounts, make sure you have the appropriate account selected to make it active so that you can save the new imported notebook into the right OneDrive account. If you need more info on this, check out the video in the card above. One area where the import fails is in the encrypted notes. Encrypted contents are not brought into OneNote. Here's an example of a note with encrypted text in Evernote. Once imported into OneNote, the encrypted snippet will be gibberish. So what I suggest is that in Evernote, run a search for encrypted content and for each, either reveal the encrypted content and save these into a separate secure document or if the information is not really sensitive, you can decrypt it permanently so that all content is revealed in the export. This step will be tedious, but important. You don't want to lose all your encrypted content. Another area that may give you issues is in tagging. If you have notes that have multiple tags, multiple copies of these notes will be imported into one note into different sections. Here we have a note with two tags. Once imported into OneNote, the notes appear twice, once under the first tag and the other under the second tag. To prevent duplicates, you may want to turn off the tag attributes before exporting your notes from Evernote. Of course, this means you lose this layer of organization structure. Final thoughts. Depending on the size of your notebook, this could either be a simple straightforward process or it could be a painful one. For me, it turned out to be the latter. The import tool itself worked great without any issues. It's Evernote's own export process that is causing problems for me. If you've recently transferred your notes from Evernote to OneNote, I would love to hear about your experience. Please drop a comment below. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more contents like this. Thanks.